Who are the top 10 best characters in One Piece? Find out today. Nothing in this video is an opinion, this is all 100% fact. These are the best characters in all of One Piece. Coming in at number 10 is Dada. The motherly foster mother thing of Luffy, Ace, and Sabo. Dada is an amazing character. Dada or Dada, I don't know what to say, it is amazing. Her love that she's with her Luffy, Sabo, and Ace that she's trying to hide is beautiful in my opinion. The way she like always hides how much she cares about them. The way how I met Ace and Sabo and Luffy flat that she showed up in front of Ace and was like, You're not dying. That was so good. Dada is factually one of the best characters in this goddamn series. Don't deny it! She is the absolute best! You fucking hear me? Cause your house all killing you and you deny the fact. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Coming in at number 9 is Ivankov. Now Ivankov is obviously one of the greatest characters here. And you guys don't understand what Oda had come out and said. Ivankov is the best. In the ninth best character of the series. This is canon. It's in an SBS. You see, I'm telling you it's in the SBS right now. Alright? Oda came out and said it, you hear me? But yeah, and he even gave a raise in it. He said Ivanko is awesome, he even Delifer. Ivanko Delifer can change somebody's gender. And see, if you change somebody's gender, then you don't need to worry about. Then, you know what you can do? Then you can uh, torture people. You can get them to do anything. That is so great for interrogation and just and the comedic potential for that is just so goddamn good. Just that that is really alone is obviously what makes Ivanko the ninth best character in this entire theory. Coming in at number eight is obviously cross dresser Sanji. Cross dressing Sanji is so badass. In fact, the reason I'm a Sanji fanboy. It's because of cross dressing Sanji. Before we saw Sanji in that dress, I was like, fuck that guy. Him and his flashing, flamey, gay ass legs. Fuck all that. That stuff is so stupid. But cross dressing Sanji on the other hand is really cool. Really cool. More in character than that shithead that we saw fight against that stupid that punk ass Virgo. Oh, Virgo. You're Virgo. That guy's guts. That guy's shit. Just like shit. I mean, that guy one of those overrated characters like Shane and Usopp and Luffy and Loro and Kuma. I'll forget fucking Dragon, Whitebeard, all those guys are all pure shit compared to the greatness that they cross dressing Sanji. But now let's continue with number seven. Coming in number seven is Pell. Yeah, I'm right, Pell. The the Christ figure of the One Piece universe. This man can fly directly into a nuclear bomb and survive. His badass level, according to Oda, is... It's over 9,000! Hell's badass level is just so freaking high that we all need to love him. Oda's godly words. Goda said so that he is one of the best characters in this series. But let's move on. Coming in at number 6. Wood slap. Wood slap is God. Every night you get on your knees and you pray to Lord Wood slap. All right. Every single night you guys, you gotta freaking do that. You hear me? You hear me? Wood slap is our Christ figure. You need to pray to him, or you're gonna go to hell. You understand me? Uh, you're gonna go to hell. If you don't pray to Wood slap. Oda said so. God, go to himself. He told you. You go to hell if you don't pray to Woodslap every night. I mean, Woodslap is obviously all up there with an info on the Will of D, which isn't really that important. But we all know Rebecca Boobs are the main source of material in this series. Rebecca Boobs are the most important thing in this entire series. So, yeah. So, but he definitely knows something about the Will of D. I said the Will of D is like the third most important thing in the franchise. Second being the One Piece. The first of them being, of course, being Rebecca Venus Boobs. But, yeah. Coming in at number five. Is Akainu. Akainu is the fifth greatest character in this theory. Only for one reason. If we the court, as I stated for all of these, stated by Oda in an SBS, if I remember, I will link it in the description. But, what the thing is, is that it was stated by Oda that I, I always fucking hated that prick. Uh, A. And for the boy group, those two are faggots. Uh, I am, and also, I am, uh, I do not personally think that Ace is, Ace is a pretty good character. I'd say he's like me, my 55th favorite character, Whitebeard being my 80th favorite character. 
But I'm quoting Oda. That was the Oda thought by Whitebeard and Ace. But honestly, I personally uh, do agree with him that Kill that Akainu is the fifth greatest character because he ran the holes through that stupid character Ace's chest and murdered him in cold blood. I laughed in the sheer joy when I saw that fifth go through his chest. It was just too goddamn funny. But yeah, let's move on to number four. Number four is quite obvious to any real One Piece fan. If you don't know what I'm about to say, and you're a complete idiot, by the way. Momonosuke. Momonosuke is God. Momonosuke is he, he what any man should aspire to be. The kind of man that takes advantage of a woman's feeling to get a peek at her boobs. And get a chance to sleep with them. He is the inspiration for what all men should be. Someone that wants to take advantage of a nice of a nice and good woman. So they can rub their head in between their titties. This is of course a true fact. Oda has said it. And Oda is our God. Oda is our Lord and Savior. We here in One Piece believe in many gods. We believe in Woodslap. We believe in Jesus. We believe... Wait, that's not a character from One Piece. And only One Piece character can be God. We believe in Woodslap. We believe in Oda. We believe in Goda. We are One Piece fans. And now, let's move on to number three. Number three is Domino. The female guard from Impel Down with the blonde hair. Yes. She is awesome. I mean, did you remember when she tried to put the handcuff on a uh, handcuff? Oh my god. Like that? When I saw her, I was like, this girl, 10 out of 10. I mean, her tits, her tits are so big, but the uniform, like, it makes them so, you know, look smaller than the SDR. Those things are probably like the size of Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I mean, really, those things are gigantic. They're like the Empire State Building. For the level of shit. I mean, no tech make her the third greatest character in Mysterio. Also, but that she got blonde hair and handcuffs, that's not too bad either. Wait, what? Oh, you disagree? Well, then you can't disagree. I, I, I don't agree with that either. I hate, I, that she has handcuffs scared the crap out of me. I don't like being around people with handcuffs. But guess what? There's one small problem. I'm just reading off of Oda's list here. These are his reasons why he feels these are the best characters he has ever written. I'm not even kidding you. But let's move on to number two. Number two is my favorite character, and everybody's favorite character, Nami's boobs. Not Nami, Nami, Nami's lame. Like, Nami's like, I don't know, maybe 80, 90, maybe like 230th favorite character. But Nami, but her boobs, they're so big, Oda actually considered them a separate character. He said that Nami's boobs have had more development they had, had more character development than the entire Straw Hat crew put together. Screw Luffy, screw the rest of them all. Hell, they have had more strength and growth development than Luffy had over the time skip. Yeah, not even hit King Kongo could even penetrate their awesomeness, according to Oda. Now, I personally don't agree with it. I think Nami Boobs is the best character in the series. Nami Boobs is the number one best character in the series, in my opinion. But Oda's number one is, yeah, Oda's number one is my number two. Yeah, kind of me and Oda are tight. We're like flip-flopped, but yeah. Let's go on to number one, next to Nami boobies. Rebecca. Rebecca great. The way she cried and just sit there with tears running out her face all the time. Uh, Oda thinks it's beautiful and very attractive, apparently. He also loves, loves how he will never hurt anybody, even in battle. Even though she entered battle being intent to uh, take people down. And she, I, and I agree that it's really awesome. Only a true badass is afraid to fight somebody, alright? Anybody that's a badass is somebody that will take in all their captive pain. Or I don't know, will cut, cut, the, cut an entire mountain in half. Or set their leg on fire. Or tilt the city. Or blow up a planet. Or, or try to save your best friend to keep a promise. Or anyway, I think things like that. All those people are losers. We all know Rebecca. Rebecca is the deepest, greatest character in Mysteri. She is beautiful. She is smart. She is strong. She is stronger than all four Yoko combined. 
to get her strength isn't from that of her body, but her heart. We all know this is a fact. We know no character can touch the greatness that is Rebecca. The side, the greatness of Nami Boo. But then again, this is Oda. And Oda agrees that there is nothing that can touch the greatness that is Rebecca. Rebecca is the greatest character in, 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 all, in not just one thing, but in all of fiction. Alright, Rebecca is just that amazing. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this very, very 100% factual video. You can hear the sincerity in my voice when I say it's a 100% fact. These are the greatest characters in all of One Piece. This is that. This is not an opinion. None of this has been an opinion. Do you understand? I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation. Dining out. Have a great day. Okay, in case you're not aware, it's April Fool's Day. April Fool's. I honestly, I didn't know what video to make. So I decided to make a video where I made a list of the best characters in One Piece. And tried to take some of the characters that I couldn't even care less about. And make them seem epic. To some of the most bullshit reasons. And say it was all fact. Now I'm going to point out nothing in this video is fact. It's all made as a joke. There's not even going to be a link in the description. If it is, it'll be to like a stupid ass toy of like a Nami mouse pad or something. <laughs> the point is, is that it's all really funny. And this video was just a joke and I hope you enjoyed. Really, I honestly hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a good laugh out of it if you stayed this long. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.